In this video, we're going to look at evidence of polarization based on behavior of political parties. This is something we hear all the time, that in America, the two sides are getting further apart. Well, are they? Presumably, this is something we could try to measure. And polarization really simply just means getting further apart. Two sides are getting further apart. That's all it means. Is there evidence that the political parties themselves are getting further apart? Maybe. There's a few different things we could look at, and one is analyzing the major party ideology. And this is from VoteView.com that tries to measure the general ideological position over the part of the parties over time. And we can see just by looking at this chart how it flows over time. If we pick a spot in the 1940s to 1960s, we can see, and this, this spanned all the way to the 1990s, there's a lot of overlap between the, the red dots and the blue dots. That means there was some conservative Democrats and liberal Republicans. Fast forward, though, closer to 2020, we see that there is very little overlap between those two groups. So from this perspective, yes, it does look like the parties are seemingly getting further apart. What about voting behavior in Congress? How individual senators and members of the House vote with each other? Well, here's an example of voting networks in the U.S. Senate over a given period of time. We can see the beginning of this graph, there's a lot of overlap with the sort of networks between uh, the Republican and Democratic senators often voting with each other on different issues. Over time, that disappears, and we're seeing less instances of senators voting together between the parties. So that's definitely something that, that has changed. What about party line votes? A party line vote is a vote where everyone in the party votes the same way all the time often happens in parliamentary systems, yet throughout much of Congress, there weren't always party line votes. There was some mixing between the parties. How often do the parties vote as blocks? Well, that looks like it's been increasing. We can see just this plot, the House in yellow and the Senate in green. If we, we look at that trend line, yeah, we do see an increase in party line votes. So more often, the parties are voting together as groups. Other visual representation of the parties in Congress. Here are DW nominate scores, which is a way of tracking the behavior of, of individual members of Congress and how they vote with relation to other members of Congress. And so here's an example of the 97th Congress, where we can see the, the individual dots that the individual members of Congress spread out vertically and horizontally with a little bit of overlap. Quite a decent spread on this graph. Fast forward to the, tw the 113th Congress, we see less of, of an overlap. The, the, the groups of dots are sort of more consistently placed. And when we look at those two together, yeah, we can see there's a visual difference, that the, the, the two groups are starting to cluster together more, whereas previously, in, at different times, they were more spread out. So is there evidence of polarization between the political parties? Yeah, it looks like there's an increasing ideological distance. Yes, there are, we've observed some changes in voting patterns in Congress. There are less, there are fewer cross-party votes, and there are more party line votes where the parties are all voting together as blocks.